Hello everyone and welcome to Unity 2017 tutorial how to make a 3D 2D game. So the, uh, first of all uh, go to unity3d.com and install Unity if you didn't yet. Go to get Unity uh, personal, try personal and uh, download. I already downloaded it so I'm gonna open it. So this is Unity interface. Here, here is the hierarchy, the scene, the game, and the project, the console, the inspector, and more. Those are windows. You can change them like you want, put it them, customize them, just like you want. So this is the scene. I'm gonna make it to be bigger, by the way. Uh, Okay, so this is our scene. Here we can see in the hierarchy the elements, uh, the game objects of our game. Here the main camera and directional light. So I'm gonna go to the game object, 3D object, and cube. I'm gonna reset its position to 0, 0, and 0. So as you can see, here in the game window is what our main camera is displaying so when I make it closer and up and down I can even okay I can rotate it so what is the transform okay the transform is has three axes uh, sorry the X and the Y and the Z okay okay so when I change the X the X position it goes to right and when I change J to negative it goes to the left and when I change the Y position it goes up and down just like mentioned here so and the z is the, uh, the depth it goes as you can see in the scene when i increase or decrease the z it goes closer and far away so i'm gonna reset the settings i'm going to the scale to the x scale i'm gonna make it uh, five for example no uh 20 okay cool uh, I'm going to main camera, I'm gonna make it, it here, change its rotation or go here and change the rotation so I look it that way. Okay, um, by the way I went to main camera and uh, it was like that, skybox, but I want I didn't like the skybox honestly, so I made solid color. And later on, we're gonna put a background image or something better. So, uh, so now let's go to game object, 3D object, and sphere. So this sphere is gonna be. I'm gonna take it from okay. Uh, the sphere. I'm going here and name it player. So this will be our player. So I'm gonna make its transform position to 0, 0, 0. Uh, well, I'm going to make it up a bit so I can see it. So this is our player. So when I hit the play button, Obviously nothing will happen because there is nothing in, to do in this game. So I'm going to project uh, in the assets, right click, create C sharp script. I'm gonna name it player movement. So I'm going to make this player movable. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to paint is when I click the D key 
it's transformed the position goes to positive x and when I click on Q its position will go negative so let's write it in the script so <coughs> uh, here we can see that we have two functions the start function and the update function the start function is happens once when the game object in the scene only once in time so when I click the play button it happens uh, the code in this function will happen only once and the update is happens every frame so I'm going to say if if the player presses the D key his X position will go uh, plus 5 or uh, I don't know okay if input dot get key key code dot d okay so if i press the d code the code inside this brackets will happen so i want the transform the transform translates in the x position so I'm going to write transform dot translate okay here it says it needs a vector 3 translation so what is a vector 3 a vector 3 is a variable that stores the three axes the x y and z so I'm gonna write a new vector 3 a new vector 3 okay here it says the float x and float, uh, float y so i want it to move by five by five every second time dot delta time the update functions hap, uh, the update function happens uh, every every frame so uh, if you have a good computer the speed will be very high and you and, and if you have a bad computer the speed will be so low so to make uh, the experience for all players the same and their speed are all the same i'm gonna make it go by the default time so it's five uh, multiplied by time dot delta time that is the x the flow y. Well, well, when I press the D key, I wanna it to go up or down. So I'm going to set it zero and zero. Okay, and don't forget uh, the the syntax. The syntax. So I'm gonna save and see what happens. If I press, uh, okay, uh, click on the play button, which is this. Okay. So let's wait a bit to check if there are any errors. Okay, no errors. So when I press the D key, okay, it doesn't happen. Okay, it doesn't work. Let's. Ah, oh, I didn't attach the script to the player. So add component. Let's go to the player. Add component. Uh, script. Where is script? scripts and player movement so uh, now let's press the play button hopefully it will work so when i press the d key well it works so when i press the d key it goes to the x position okay i want when i press the q key its position will go negative this way so let's go to our script copy and paste if input that get key key code I'm gonna set it to Q and the, uh, the here the, in the X I want it to go negative so I'm gonna add the minus so let's save and go to unity and hit the play button 
Okay, it. Okay, so when I press the D and then the Q, okay, okay, our play, player movement works. So I want to store this or the five in a variable called speed. So I'm going to make uh, the variable public so I can access it in the editor. So I will write public. Uh, the type of the variable will be int, which is stands for integers, numbers, and name it speed. In the start, when the object gets in the scene, I want to set the speed to 5. <coughs> and go here and replace the 5 with speed and save. Let's go to Unity and hit the play button. So I'm gonna read a bit. Okay. Okay. When I press the D and when the Q, it works pretty good. So as you can see here, uh, we can see the speed. Let's set it to 8 for example. As you can see, the speed changes. If I set it to 2, it is so slow. So variable, public variables are good for this. In the editor, when you can test it and change the speed to your preferences, how you want it and all. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and it was a good explanation. Thank you very much and don't forget to hit the like button. So goodbye and see you in part two. Goodbye.